Large-scale tests of fire effect on external thermal insulation composite system with EPS insulation according to DIN 4102-20. Limiting the spread of fires via the external elements of the facade is one of the main requirements for buildings. Large-scale testing according to German standard DIN 4102-20 is performed. Two tests are performed. A fragment of an existing building with silicate brick walls is used as a test structure. EPS 70 type 100 mm polystyrene foam with graphite additive is used for installation of the insulation system. Capitec Dumkleber adhesive is used to attach the insulation boards. The gluing of EPS boards is carried out in accordance with the recommendations of the building regulations, insulation of partitions with polystyrene foam. EPS insulation boards are additionally attached with fasteners. EJOT fasteners are used. Polystyrene foam boards are coated with Capitec reinforcing compound. The yield of the reinforcing compound is about 9 kg per square meter. Capitec fiberglass mesh is used for reinforcement. Fiberglass mesh weight is about 165 grams per square meter. Once the facade insulation system has been reinforced, it is left to dry. Once the insulation system has dried, the facade finish is installed using Capitec silicone textured plaster. L-shaped test structures are completely installed on the wall of the existing building. Test pieces will be subjected to fire for 30 minutes. After extinguishing, measurement of temperature will be continued for another 30 minutes. Thermocouples are embedded in surfaces of the test structure, assessing the external spread of flame at 3.5 meters above the opening must be no flaming wreckages temperature exceeding 500 degrees Celsius and no continuous burning of any kind. Assessing the internal spread of flame at three and a half meters above the opening must be no flaming wreckages, temperature exceeding 500 degrees Celsius. For the assessment of flaming particles, falling of flaming or not flaming particles must cease within 90 seconds after the flame source has been extinguished. First test piece. Cross section of installation of thermal insulation layer at upper edge of the opening of test specimen number one. The fire will be produced by 25 kilograms of coniferous timber. Flammable liquid is ignited at the beginning of the test. Ambient temperature is plus 13 degrees Celsius. The combustion chamber has an air intake, so the temperature in the combustion chamber reaches some 700 to 900 degrees during the test. The diagram shows that the maximum temperature exceeding 122 degrees Celsius is reached in the TC3 thermocouple about 20 minutes after the start of the test. The temperature in the other thermocouples did not reach 100 degrees Celsius. Almost 10 minutes later, dropping of molten EPS from the top of the window is observed. After more than 17 minutes, flaming of the dissolved mass of EPS is observed. After 19 minutes, the collapse of the burning timber stack is observed. When the timber stack collapses, the temperature drops. After 30 minutes, extinguishing of the remains of timber is started. Temperature measurement is continued. One hour after the start of the test, the outer layer of the facade is removed. When the outer layer of the test structure is removed, it is found that the polystyrene foam has shrinked in the main wall up to a height of 241 centimeters vertically from the combustion chamber. Affected area extends horizontally to 140 centimeters. The affected area in the formed wing extends vertically to 357 centimeters above the ground and horizontally it extends to 99 centimeters from the main wall. Second test piece. Cross-section of installation of thermal insulation layer at upper edge of the opening of test structure number two. At the beginning of the test, the timber stack is ignited. 
ambient temperature is plus 13 degrees Celsius. The combustion chamber has an air intake, so the temperature in the combustion chamber reaches some 700 to 900 degrees during the test. The diagram shows that the highest temperature above 158 degrees Celsius is reached in thermocouple TC3. Almost seven minutes after the start of the test, dropping of molten EPS from the top of the window is observed. After more than 11 minutes, flaming of mass of melted and dropped EPS is observed. After 17 minutes, the collapse of the timber stack is observed. When the timber stack collapses, the temperature drops. After 30 minutes, extinguishing of the remains of the timber is started. One hour after the start of the test, the outer layer of the facade is removed. When the outer layer of the test structure is removed, it is found that the polystyrene foam has shrinked in the main wall up to a height of 242 centimeters vertically from the edges of the combustion chamber, while horizontally the affected area extends to 190 centimeters above the combustion chamber. The affected area in the formed wing extends vertically to 230 centimeters from the ground and horizontally to 90 centimeters from the main wall. The findings of the evaluation of the test pieces with regard to external spread of flame were in compliance with the criteria set out in DIN 4102-20 standard. The findings of the evaluation of the internal spread of flame also met the criteria set out in DIN 4102-20 standard. The findings of the evaluation of flaming particles and droplets also met the criteria set out in DIN 4102-20 standard. The results of the large-scale tests met the evaluation criteria set out in the German standard method DIN 4102-20. The facade finish withstood the effects of fire produced by 25 kilograms of wood.